Okay, in today's video, I just want to show you how to map two MIDI signals to the same parameter from a controller. So you can use two two values to control the same parameter. And for this, I've got a Zone K2 USB MIDI controller. And these top pots here have two values assigned to them. So I've got a, a rotate and a push. And so what I want to do is I want to send that to a hue rotate and a push to reset. So I'm in layer one, I've got some clips in here. So I'll go to my, my layer clip and then from the effects I'm going to grab a hue rotate and this is the value on a map here, so this hue rotate value. First I'll make sure I've got my MIDI controller selected in Resolume, so MIDI input, MIDI output, the zone K2, refresh and then under shortcuts edit MIDI. I've got some mapping from another show here, so I'll just start a new one. I'll call that Zone K2. So I can see I've got a clean slate now. And I want to first I want to grab this, so Q rotate. And back on the MIDI controller, I'm going to rotate that pot. And now to get the push value, I'll duplicate this. A second time, I can see they're both the same MIDI channel at the moment, and I'll grab that push value for that second one. We can see it changes now. So I've got two MIDI values in here. For that second one, I want that to be a hard value. So I'll choose mode value, and I'll set the value to zero. And now you can see we've got two channels, two MIDI channels mapped to that. We can duplicate this multiple times. I have multiple MIDI channels to sign this. I've got no reason for that at the moment. Two is a great, this should be work fine. And so now back in Resolume, look at the MIDI controller, I can rotate that. As you can see, the rotate's not working quite right. So let's just back into the MIDI, Edit MIDI, and have a look at that first one, where the rotate's not quite doing what we want. So what we want is a relative value, because it's a continuous rotator. So we'll set it to relative, and I'll just up the step size a bit so it rotates a bit faster. Uh, point to it. 62 steps should be good. So let's try that again. Now when we rotate, you can see it actually steps through. So we need to make that, for continuous rotators, it needs to be in relative mode. And look at them. The controller, if I push now, it'll reset back. If I move up to a different color, if I push now, it'll reset back. And this will light up as well, because it's sending out that MIDI command. So now we can do a hue rotate and a quick reset on that. And that'll work across all the clips. on that layer. So that's how you double stack MIDI triggers in Resolume.